Man, I can hear them, but I don't think they're going to come over that ridge, James. We're losing camera light fast. It sounds like they're getting closer. Let's just cut the distance on foot and maybe we can handle them. Oh yeah, dude, let's roll. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you get too good, if not, don't worry. Um, the left one's gonna stop, the left one's gonna stop. <clears throat> hold on, whatever, yep. I don't, I'm not on the third one. Oh, there he is, he's way down in the bottom hauling ass. Don't, don't make a running shot, just let him go. We need something, we need a couple for... Dude. Hey, hey, hey. There it was. There it was, mother <laughs> Found that <laughs> About damn time. Double on film. There it was. We... Gosh, that is freaking awesome! Gosh, that is awesome! I was thinking they were out there another half mile when we put a half... We... I bet we walked two miles in here, dude. At least two miles. I am f***ing so jacked right now. We got those coyotes to call to answer us about three quarters of a mile back. And I thought they were going to be clear the hell out there.
And what were they? 300 yards down there? You, I would, you were like, I'm like right in that red grass, dude. dude. I was just hanging out, sitting here. I was just hanging out. Glass and clear out there, and I freaking seen a little bit of movement right here in the shadow. You're like 200 yards, and I'm like looking in the, I'm like red grass. I was thinking that buck brush way down there. Oh. That's where I'm like, what? And they were right here. And I'm like. <laughs> and then you asked me how what? far, and I said, what? 150, 200 yards? It was probably 300, I bet. Dude, double bam. <laughs> double boom. Here's what's happening this time of year. Exactly what's happening this time of year. It's it's like I tell Keith the last time we were driving down the road. It's like a bad dream for us. Yeah. It's like you, the dream that you have when you're falling out of out of your out of the sky or something, or you're falling off of a cliff and you're just sitting there grabbing, and you got that feeling in your gut like you're never gonna stop. Well, that's that's how we're to coyote hunting. We're trying to grab the last bit, to, the last concept that. Real life is about to happen. We're about done. Yeah, you're Till. about to start cabin. Real life starting to real start life, happen. Real life jobs coming to effect <laughs> here, fellas. Which this is part of our job. This is part of real life. But it doesn't do us any good to keep hammering these coyotes when we like to use them for their fur. And we like to have seed stock for next year. We've completely destroyed the coyote population this year. But that's what's happening this time of the year. You know, we're, we're going hard. It's fun got some amazing footage to show you guys we're very fortunate to do what we do but at the same time there was no way on God's green earth that I was gonna stop filming until Keith got his double on film of the year and that just happened. I'm starting to feel bad I think I've been sh shooting he have been running the camera for the last three weeks for God's sake I don't even care. That's the thing. That's the beauty of us, man. When you were, I was thinking about this when we were coming in. I look at us like a team. If you've ever been part of a, of a team, not just a team team, but a good team. I'm talking like the f***ing championship team. Boom. That's how I look at us because it doesn't matter if one of us operates a camera. I feel just as comfortable knowing that I can get the footage that I want and that he's going to be a performer on his platform as much as him feeling that I could do likewise. I could be just as much of a performer on the weapon platform and he could do just as good as a camera. So that's that's what we have going on. We've got a few guys on the team and we all know that, that there's, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different tools that each one of us can do just as good as the other. Sure. And that's huge for us. We got two big old furry white. That's another thing too that's awesome. Gosh, is, those are good dogs. That's man. a huge, that's, that's a, this, a nasty. Dude, this is so. This coyote is so pale and so white. But that's the uh, one we got first. That's the first one. You sat him down, both of them, shoulder mounted him, just locked him, just locked. Let the raptor him. eat. Let, that's what we. That's what Key says. Let the raptor eat fur. Sixty grain cutting edge bullet raptor. That's what's so huge about this, guys. The, the, this this is another thing too. I know we got. I've get enough guys on YouTube saying. <laughs> the last good comment was. Typical with you guys, uh, one minute of good footage and the rest bro talk. Right on. Yep. So this right, is right on, right on bro. <laughs> this is uh, you can see it's probably getting dark on the XF on the big camera, but behind us, there's that that butte back there is probably a mile, at least a mile behind us, at least. We're at least two miles in from where we parked the pickup. That's awesome because we know. With the equipment that we run, just like I said on John's double, with the equipment that we run, we run it the way it's meant to be ran. We use it the way it's meant to be used. We use these Everly stock packs. We got the USOs on top of a multi-thousand dollar rifle built by Long Rifles Inc. This is geared for precision. That's how we gear everything for precision and, and efficiency and effectiveness. And being able to grab all of our kit, throw it in our packs, and hoof it for like you said, two miles. Oh, well, we we came in a mile first, and then and these coyotes howled at us, but we couldn't we couldn't get them to cut the distance or anything, so we had to do it ourselves. And by the time we set up, we right. dude, those coyotes were starting to cut the they distance. They were sure they were. Within, if we would have stayed on that butte over there, they would have they would have showed up probably within the next fifteen minutes, right on yeah. that skyline right there. Yeah. But that's the beauty of what of 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 our team and what we do. That's a lot different. 
we have so many guys go, don't, well, don't you use a vehicle? Sure, we use a vehicle to get 10 miles from our home, but when we get into a set, we use our feet to get miles in. Now, this is completely open. If we would have drove over this, this, this last, the first ridge here, everything that we were calling would have seen us. From a mile that way to a mile and a half that way, we would have been seen with the pickup. Sure, yeah, easily. So it's a whole different area, a whole different, we use the draws. We'll show you guys the B-roll, the footage of us coming in, using the draws, sitting up on the first butte, hearing these coyotes way off to our east, jumping the next butte and, and being aggressive with them. That's where the rabbit really comes in handy, I'll tell you what. If, you, if it's a fast rabbit, you gotta play it. You gotta play the, the, high, the high pitched, nasty aggressive rabbit this time of the year and this will happen. You will get, and Keith's awesome on the, on the, that's a huge part of the US optics because Keith, we were talking, you'd probably be able to hear us, but he's like, dude, the, the, the first two are males, that, that second one is, is pretty small. We couldn't quite tell if she was a female or not, but he was guessing that, he was assuming that. So we're all about killing males this time of year. If we can let a female go and they're not a big problem around the ranchers, hell, we'll let, we'll let them be. And let them have pups and then come in you know next season we got some some fun time you know we got a couple doubles couple triples couple quads quints maybe with some stupid pups but this is another thing that sets us apart we're coming into these areas that are high pressure hell john and i came into this area last week with the with the same call played a different rabbit played a different rabbit had two coyotes come up and sit about a half a mile apart wouldn't commit got dark on us so what did we do Keith and I geared up. We got crazy. We got we got just as uh, aggressive as these coyotes were. Cut the distance in half and double. Let me uh, do nice work. Yeah, what, you you good. pounded that. You gotta you gotta put a plug. You gotta say something about what the hell is going on there because I already the, said it. I'm not telling anyone. And it sounds like they're getting closer. Let's just cut the distance on foot and maybe we can handle them. Oh yeah, dude. Let's roll. What the hell was that? I was trying to go. Oh, I thought you fell, dude. Oh. <laughs> no, I was trying to go. I was like, I got up and went like this. I went like, oh. like that. <laughs> Abby telling us, hey, yeah, we, 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 we went and got badass footage of you. I thought you were going to do Oh, I was. I was faking it. <laughs> they just do that. Oh. There we go. We got it though. Don't even worry. <laughs> I am freaking so jack amped. I might. I'm doing push-ups right now. <laughs> I'm doing push-ups right now. Just don't even show it on camera, but I'm doing. <laughs> Done.